Right now, Florida has the seventh highest number of cases in the country with more than 1,000 patients. Here in Northeast Florida, 107 people are infected. Let's break it down county by county. Duval County now has 39, including an 11-year-old boy. Alachua County has 35, 16 in St. John's, 7 in Clay, 2 each in Nassau, Putnam, Baker, and Columbia counties. Statewide, 13 people died as a result of COVID-19. Now, one of those deaths includes an 83-year-old man who lived at the Camellia at Deerwood on the south side. Seven people total have now tested positive at that same assisted living facility. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. Ashley, the health department's instant command team is now headed to that facility. That is true, Jen and Bruce. Good morning to you both. This team is going to be made up about, of about 15 to 20 medical professionals, including infectious disease experts and logistics experts. They will be going door to door, checking on each resident. I want to go ahead and show our viewers some video of that facility. In addition to checking on those residents, the team will be working to make sure the building has proper decontamination and cleaning protocols in place. Now, Jacksonville City officials say that it is assisting the, the state at the facility with the cleaning and the training. Now, Camellia Deerwood residents are confined to their rooms and most visitation has been canceled. But News for Jax did speak to a couple who was visiting an 86 year old friend. They say they spoke with her from her balcony. She told us it's been a, a little bit lonely, even though she keeps up with friends and family. But the people, the only people she's really seen is the people who work here and bring her meals. And that facility says it plans on continuing testing residents for the virus and the health department is expected to be at that facility for at least the next couple of days. Reporting live, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.